Srimati Supriya Sule. Sir, the state that I come from has an area which is highly affected, which is the Gadchiroli area. <laughs> There has been a lot of intervention being made. The government of India and government of Maharashtra have very closely worked in this area to improve the situation. But we haven't been so successful. You have given us three towers. But we've had issues and at times there is some of these towers have even been blown. How do you see it after 2019 when the USO fund, which will be stopped, how do you see protecting them and how can the state government work closer with the union government and your department to make sure that we make this service available and safer and the utility of the towers is sustained. Thank you. Honorable Speaker, Madam, the Honorable Member has rightly expressed her concern about the Gurdj Road areas. As we all of know, as we all know, nine states of India are affected by left-wing um, mm. adventurism or misadventurism as we call it. The Maharashtra also is one of the states from which the Honorable Member comes. Yes, security of these towers is of prime importance. Therefore, we are working in synergy with the security establishment operating there, be it the center or the state, so that while installing these towers, the security aspect is also properly factored into. As far as the expiry of 2019 is concerned, yes, this fund is there, but if you have to work in coordination with the state governments, the security of these towers to ensure proper connectivity in those areas must be the prime concern. When the fund expires or not expire is not that important. And I'm sure in our collective wisdom, we shall find a solution post-2019 to ensure safety and security of these towers. Thank you.